In this quick video, I'm going to show you um, our first in the world aftermarket fiber optic um, e amplifier. This is just a prototype, I wanted to show that it works. I'm playing the classical music because I don't want it to have any commercials added in the video. So you can see everything works. Um, we have here the tone works. The bass, bass works. Um, the equalizer is working too. I probably won't be able to hear it much here, but I'm just saying everything's responding like it should. And this is 2018 car, and this amplifier will fit pretty much any BMW without any coding, which is a nice part about it. So you can simply install it, plug and play without any programming, it will work. All functions like equalizer and such so that's pretty nice all i'm saying because as you know the amplifier it needs to be programmed and it might not work properly the it will work with um, the phone with pretty much anything so so it's really universal i'm going to show you in a bit how it looks in the back um so we repaired tons of these amplifiers and finally we decided to create something universal so people can buy and should be affordable uh, so just plug and play pretty much in any car from 2004 up to 2018 as of today maybe even 19 yeah it should work in 19 too so let me show you <clears throat> as you can see this is our prototype um, this is aluminum amplifier uh, as you can see this is the original connector so we using just fiber optic at the moment it doesn't support um, the noise from the engine because in lots of cases people don't like it but we're gonna add it later so this is just for the, for the noise from the engine okay this is the power this is fiber optic this is the connector for the speakers and like I said it's universal so it supports this connector and connector right here when the power goes in here in all the cars so this one shows the fiber optic um, state so it shows that the signal is received and the uh, digital processor is working so it also has DSP um, it has a um, clean output it does not support logic 7's um, we call it surround sound but honestly we wanted to make it clean because in lots of times people don't even like this um, don't even like this um, effect so you can see this is the original amplifier and this amplifier is like used one is around eight nine hundred dollars they get water damage really often because because of leaks and everything so you can see this was a lot of water damage too so that was replaced so you can see even the used one is very expensive so that's why we decided to create something like this it's not ready for sale yet we're still testing it and everything but so far i can tell it's working pretty good um and the nice thing about it that it has a class a b um on the speakers so it's a little bit less powerful but the quality is better somebody who knows the difference between class ib and class d probably probably will approve it because the quality of the sound is much cleaner than class d well i'm not talking about uh, audio files you know those people they know the difference that's why they prefer the old style class ab so um that's about it that's what i wanted to show you our amplifier which took us almost three years to build it's quite expensive project uh, one of the most expensive one i ever worked for but hopefully it's going to see the light soon and uh, it's going to be on the market and it's going to be on the market like i said it's going to be budget um budget uh, amplifier where everybody should be able to afford it um so basically it's going to be the price of the used one I don't know, maybe within five, six hundred dollars because we're not hundred percent sure because there are gonna be few um things we have to redo inside the amplifier. So few revisions are common still. So that's about it. Thank you.